Hi, I'm Max with Park Tool, and today we're going to be going through the DT5 disc brake mount facing set. First, we're going to do a general explanation of the tool, then we're going to run through the various configurations, and finally, we'll show the DT5 in action. Let's get to it. The Park Tool DT5 disc brake mount facing set is a precision tool system engineered for machining frame and fork disc brake mounts. The DT5 will precisely face both post mount and IS mount systems, and it uniquely works on hard to reach chain state post mount systems. The DT5 ensures the mounting surfaces are square to the rotor face and even in height, and allows for peak brake performance. When the brake isn't aligned with the rotor, and there's no adjustment you can make that will result in good pad alignment, it's time to face with the DT5. The DT5 has a modular design allowing for many configurations of the tool, so kick back and enjoy the music as we walk through eight different configurations.
Now that we've got the right configuration, we'll walk through how to use the DT5 with a post mount and IS mount. In this setup, we need to face the post mount on a front fork with a 15mm through axle. With the stop collar low and out of the way, loosen the cutting arm pivot bolt. Extend the linkage arm of the slider and cutting arm assembly so they are in a relatively straight line and then tighten the cutting arm pivot bolt. Slide the body left to right on the axle so that the cutting arm wings are over the post mounts. Rotate the body so the wings simultaneously contact the post mount surfaces. Tighten the pinch bolt to lock the body on the axle. Loosen the cutting arm pivot bolt and lift the cutting arm and slider. Rotate as needed to insert the cutter pilot into the hole on the lower post mount. Lock the cutter arm by tightening the pivot bolt. Use an appropriate cutting fluid such as Park Tool CF2 cutting fluid. Turn the knob clockwise while applying hand pressure to face the surface. For speed, you may use a ratcheting wrench with an 8mm hex bit or a Park Tool PH8 hex wrench to turn the handle. Cut only the minimum necessary for a flat mounting surface. Check your progress often. Any uncut material or paint showing is lower than the cut made by the DT5. The caliper brake body needs only enough machine surface so it will secure flat to the cut. With the cutter contacting the face of the lower post mount, move the stop collar until it contacts the slider and tighten the collar pinch bolt. This sets the depth of the cut and prevents further facing. Loosen the cutting arm pivot bolt and lift the cutting arm and slider on the shaft. Pivot and rotate the assembly to insert the cutter pilot into the hole on the upper post mount. Retighten the arm pivot bolt. Here you will find one of two scenarios. First, the cutter may be in contact with the upper post mount surface and there is a gap between the stop collar and the slider. This indicates the second post mount has a higher depth of cut relative to the first post mount already faced. In these cases, turn the cutter and face this second mount until the slider contacts the stop collar. Both post mounts are now faced and they are the same height. In scenario B, after you face the first post mount and set your stop collar height, the stop collar contacts the slider before the cutter contacts this second mount. In this case, loosen and lower the stop collar. Turn the cutter to face this second post. Move the stop collar up to contact the slider and use this depth of cut setting to repeat the facing of the first post mount. In either situation, the post mounts will end up being the same height and the mounting surfaces will be correctly aligned and square to the rotor disc face. Remove the tool from the bike and clean up any chips or fluid. When facing IS mount systems, assemble the DT5 configuration required. With IS mounts, you don't need to worry about setting the angle of the tool. The cutting procedure is the same as the post mount. The DT5 is a precision tool and should be used and stored with care. Components should be kept clean and the cutter should be wiped with an oily cloth or rust inhibitor after use. Store the DT5 in its original packaging in a dry location. The DT5's cutter should be periodically replaced or sharpened by a qualified technician. Park Tool offers a sharpening service that returns cutters to factory specifications. The DT5 is a must-have tool for dialing in your disc brakes. It's a great addition to any bike shop. Thanks for watching.